Don't even play with me. Get the whole... <laughs> oh, oh my god, I got a KO from the top. Oh, what a hit! Yeah, Osprey Swerve, I'm absolutely over the moon for. I'm not really surprised they're doing it early because, well, let's do it before they get injured so we don't have this issue. But it totally tells me in my mind that we're going to hangman swerve for for London. I, I almost have no doubt in my mind that's what's going to be happening. All the rock roast has disappeared. No more zombies! <laughs> and the kids are happy, so... Say that's a good overall finish. Oh, the old man. Can hardly believe you're making me worry like that. I ought to. Please don't be mad, President Yonobo. Please be mad at President Yonobo. It's okay, Slurgo. I'm the one who made such a mess of things after all. I just had to, if I had just been more careful. You said you put Goron City back to normal and you did. You're the hero of Goron City. You were able to make Yonobo Ko and you still are now. Huh. I thank you, Goro. Oh. And we have to thank you too, Link, of course. You get rid of the marble rock crows. The smiles are coming back to Goron City. I keep imagining what might have happened if you hadn't broken that mask. Huh. Ugh, no, I can't even think about it. Princess Zelda wasn't angry we ruined the mask, was she? I don't really care. Actually, we weren't able to catch up with her. I, I got a weird feeling that wasn't her. It was also strange. Now that I think about it, it seems like we were walking towards a giant monster by choice. After that, we didn't see her again. Aww. President Yonobo. Do you think the Princess Zelda may be one of the bad guys? Hey, there you go. Finally, the kids are the ones that make sense for once. Huh? What do you mean? Uh. Like, maybe this giant monster was pretending to be Princess Zelda. Huh? No way. Oh. Hang on, come to think of it, the person my ancestor referred to as a Sage of Time said she wanted to help the Swordsman Link. Now that I think about it, that was definitely Princess Zelda. I don't know why or how she was there in the past. But whatever is the case, that means the Princess Zelda we saw was an imposter. Hey, Crowder. I, it, it's been going good. We're 26 minutes into the stream. We beat a boss that took me an hour to do last week. And now we're just wrapping up this first little uh, piece here. That imposter is making a bad name for a Princess Zelda. That's no good. Yep. We gotta find him and pummel him, Goro. I'll ask my guy to see Double Co to search the area around the city he leads on the princess. Oh. Even if you're not here with me, we'll still be connected, Link. Ooh. You can count on me. Valley and Obo, Sage of Fire. All right, so we got the spinny guy. Okay, it won't show it. It just shows we have it. The enthusiasm is great and all, but let's not 
not go digging up any more weird rocks. No, not at all. You got that, President Yodobo? I love how they get hit this other joke. All right, so we just finished our third dungeon. Lizard Lakes? What the hell are you talking about? Oh. Remember something about that other Zelda. We were my Bobble Rock Rose on the north side of Death Mountain. She said something kind of funny. She told me not to go near Lizard Lakes, but she didn't say why. Bit surprised to hear the word Lizard Lakes coming out of your craw. Don't much hear about them lakes these days. Still recall an older... Okay, now that we hear nursery rhymes... All right. One brother hunts what the other brother hides. The two lizards fighting what's over what's inside. Not everyone knows this, but the lizard lakes are also called the lizard brothers. I searched high and low ba back in my younger years. Always treasure must be there somewhere. Then on my hunt, Death Mountain blew its top. It was covered in lava before you could say boom. Boy, I forgot my s all about my search of those lakes. That's it. Talking about this has gone worked up. It's been a real long time, but I'm ready to start the hunt again. Best to start looking is halfway up the Death Mountain. My hunch is back led me. My hunch way back led me to the north side. There's a Nobuko dig site there too. We can hop in a minecart and get cracked. Ah, I don't. No oh god. My aching back. All right, that's a side quest. Let's. So we're not gonna be able to find any more rock roast anymore anyway, so. There's one more phenomena left. All right, so you know what? Let's uh, let's see where we can go here now. We've hit Death Mountain up. That's a well. That's a stupid Korok. I would like to get another shrine out of the way here though. Okay, so we already saw this one. Let's just head over here and see if, uh, maybe we could see where the, oh, I got two linked up already. What am I thinking? I got two pins right there ready to go. I have my two uh, special sites that I was looking at, so. Oh. Your noble's vow has granted you the power to summon his avatar. Great. Well, first thing I'm going to do is activate everyone. Oh, these are... There, we'll have everybody together. Okay, so let's see if there's anything we can see over here that we can attack. Oh, this is where the fairy stable is. Okay. B 
basically this is just for a quick look around to see where we can uh I see a campfire over there. That's not the direction we want to go right now. Just out of a lark, I think I want to head to the top of that mountain there. Instead of this suit, let's get the Zora suit on so we can swim a little easier. But yeah, things are going well. Just uh, interesting to hear all the news coming up that's been all over WWE and AEW, NXT. Like, if you haven't heard the news that broke today, it seems like Chad Gable is... Chad Gable's contract's coming up soon, too, so... That could be an interesting turn of events. That basically cost me my entire life here. Go figure. Let's get out a rock hammer, send a little more. I like the fact that we got meals now that we aren't gonna completely fill us for the fact that we did so much here. Yep. My biggest thing about why to get up here is to see what we potentially have to deal with over here. Because this is one of the areas we haven't explored yet, so... If we can get to the highest point, we might be able to figure out where we gotta go here. I need my rupee. 
Okay, so there's a little campground there. What in the world? This looks odd. Another damn Korok test. Goody, I have another Korok seed. I would say that's a waste of time, but that would give too much credit to the Korok. Now, let's take a look up here and see what... So basically, I'm staring in the direction that I would have to to get the... Uh... I want to see if I can get a map here or something for this area. Gotcha. Yeah, hot footed frog. That's an awful weird looking rock over on the right. There's somebody here? No. Okay. Wrong button, of course. That looks like that tower we already took care of, so... Just seems rather weird to have a tree out in the middle of nowhere. That's in there, okay. Just seems a little awkward, that's all. By the way, everybody, thank you for stopping by here. Uh, right now, we're just looking to fill in another map piece right now as we're going along here. Maybe check out Kakariko Village by the time we're done.
keep forgetting to do these. And let's, uh, how do I, I think I see our, uh, Oh, I put all four there. Never mind. But if I'm going this way, I think I found our uh, illustrious uh, Jesus. I didn't see him there. That's my bad. I guess blocking would be a good thing too. Of course you're gonna do this now, aren't you? Which means I'm gonna have to get in a move on here. The glow of the blood stained moon shines upon the land. The aimless spirits of slain monsters return to flesh. The world is threatened once again. So those guys that were on me are gonna be on me again. Damn it! Yeah, that's the exact one I gotta head to. Why am I fighting with this? I could just take the shortcut. Ugh. I just wanna get another piece of the map revealed so we can know where we're going here. I know eventually we gotta head down to the Gerudo area, but I think for today we're gonna clean up a little bit over in this area here. Maybe visit Kakariko Village. Now that we got a little bit more artillery on our hands, we can figure out what's going on with some of these guys. Oh, this is that one where we got to worry about the caves here. I'll take some free rupees.
No, that money disappeared. Damn it. So what do we got to figure out here again? Two, oh. you're working pretty hard with such a late hour and in bad weather. My apologies. It looks like we have a small problem over here. Oh. Oh, it's just a blue nightshade. Already been through here once. are horoblins. <laughs> Need a boulder breaker. I love how you guys re usually wreck everything in here. All right, what do we got for weapons here? We got stick. That was just an easier way to get out, right?
Just want to make sure we clean that out before we get out of here. Always fun running around back and forth on this. So I think I found the shrooms he was talking about. Uh. Claymore and a Claymore. Yep. Oh, I think I got the right shrooms for him, but... Where are these mushrooms? Oh, they're probably right at the end here because I just grabbed them. Oh, it's served by fuse attack power. Never mind. That's what it was. <sighs> there must be another cave I didn't get to. Okay, so we cleaned out that cave. I'm assuming there's another cave further down we gotta investigate. It's a problem we had last time we were trying to do this. That's a fair bit down. I don't think he wants us to go there. I 
think we might have to come back and deal with him right away. Let's see what's up here. You know what? We haven't killed a Grom yet. He looks so peaceful, though. Just saving just in case, but... Here we go. Got our first one, first try. Only took us one meal. Hinox toenail. Hinox, ooh. A horn wrapped in spiked wood. Attach it to a weapon to increase power or cook with a critter to make an elixir. Hinox tooth. Yeah, this weapon's almost dead anyway, so let's... Aha! Uh -huh. Now I got an axe! Okay, so we took care of the cave on this side of the hill. I'm assuming there's another cave on the other side of the hill here. 
haven't seen this before. What in the world? <laughs> Damn it. I really should cook some meals up. get out of here oh giant br oh five of them those things are really nice spiked iron ball hammer yeah no I will keep that thank you Side missions are plenty here. What? You defeated all those monsters? Just who are you? That was some kind of fighting he did there, Olken. Uh... Sure was. A firm grasp of defense and a strong hand on offense. Mm. Have I had it wrong for years now? Plain as day, you can't defeat your enemies purely with defense. No, you have to hit somebody. Uh... No, I had it wrong. If you just attack, you're going to get hurt or worse. Well, the important thing is that we realize the truth before it's too late. We need to balance between the two. And this fine fighter here showed us the way. Oh. I don't know if this is a good reward, but Olkin knows a good thing or two about defense. I'm all about offense. I doubt there's much a warrior like you could learn from abilities like us, but glad to help if we can. Hmm. Well, now that the monsters are gone, I suggest we head back to our village. Ah. I bet my Trissa's store is running low on goods right now. People must be in deep need. It's one of five ring-shaped ruins that fell in the area. They're all broken open except for the floating one it, within the village itself. When that happens, chambers with stone slabs are exposed. These slabs provide very bright stone in writing. People place them very carefully. It must be important objects. I can't believe I get to study them. Taro's translated a little bit already. This particular slab seems to detail the requirements for becoming a sage. Apparently, not only did it need to be exceptional in some way, we also needed a secret stone. Never heard of these secret stones before reading this. There's still so much mystery in this world. If you want the exact text, you can read the translation next to the stone slab. Ah. It must have been important. It's a shame that we don't need to know what meant by sage or secret stone. I know!
You know what? Let's go take a look and see what this carving has to say. Oh. Another chest. Good thing I did a little exploring and waiting. Strong Zonite Sword. I'm sure I could fuse it with something. Okay, so we got that bonus. Ah, oh, let's see what the stab has to say. Ah. Oh. All right. Ah. We already read this. <laughs> Thank you. Sure, we'll save it to the album. What the heck? All right, well, that didn't help us a whole lot here, so let's get back to focusing what we're dealing with here. I worry about focusing on this stuff, and all of a sudden... What do we have here? Look hard enough, you find a shrine and we can find the Kakaliko village. So I know that's eventually we're gonna head to, but. Let's see if we can explore inside. I didn't see what it said. Oh, my bad. I hate it when my work phone has got text sent to me like that. So, all right, let's go see what we got here. Oh shit, okay.
Let me try saying here for a second. I think it's just let me fly over, that's all it's doing. And this is how I fly over. All right, problem number two, we got ball here.
I'm assuming we can't do the same thing here for this chasm. That's a little bit too wide for that. Ah, I like this. I like this one, because this one's pretty funny. Catapult anybody? Ah, yes, it didn't make it there. Good. Now the funny part begins. Get a pult! That's hilarious. No treasure though. I'm actually surprised. Thought there would be, that's okay though. I, I like those little fun ones like that. It takes a little thinking behind it, but the fact we get to learn about catapults now. And the fact that, you know, one leads to another, leads to another, leads to another is actually something that's really cool when you're dealing with uh, Legend of Zelda. I know we got left completely off a different track from where we were, but that's okay. You know what? I get it. Zelda's a little bit like that, like all over the place, but... The one thing I do enjoy is the fact we're going to be able to get a second ring now that uh i think we're at four now yes so we are going to get a second full ring of uh of stamina here which i heard is very important in this game may the light of blessing grant you what you seek so chad i have to ask you if there's another zelda game you'd want to see here and what uh for free for future plans what would you what would you like to see i know i got a few ideas